What's up guys, I'm do here to do another review, well not another review, it's an update on my Hellraiser um, DVD collection. Um, I have ordered um, all of these individually online on eBay. Um, as I said on my last Hellraiser video, um, I did find one and two at FYE and the rest of them individually. I'm, I've been ordering off of eBay because it's very rare to find them individually um, anymore because usually they have them in like you know one one and two on one set or three through eight on one set which I mean I like that but I mean I prefer having them individually I mean I'm a nerd like that and that's pretty much how I like my movies but anyways I'm gonna not talk about that all night and I'm gonna go ahead and go through these I'm as said last time I showed off Hellraiser 1 and 2 which definitely 1 and 2 are pretty good well that's that's another um, movie I got in the mail today Halloween Resurrection but this review is not about the Halloween series so I'm not going to talk about that but I will show off my Halloween collection some other time the other day I got Hellraiser Revelations um, I did watch this and I'm gonna say it's <sighs> Between this and Hellraiser Hellworld, this is probably my least favorite, but if I had to choose, I would only pick Hellworld, only because Doug Bradley was in it, playing Pinhead. Um, I'm not sure what the new guy's name was, he played Pinhead, but he, he it was kind of like that Nightmare on Elm Street remake, you know how the guy who played Freddy didn't sound anything like Robert England? well this guy, I mean I like I said about the other guy who tried to play Freddy in the remake, I, this guy, who new guy who played Pinhead, I know it's not his fault that um, he can't sound like Pinhead like Doug Bradley does. He doesn't sound as scary or demonic, but it's just, you know, it seems like whenever they get a new person to do, you know, to, to replace an actor, it just seems like they don't fit the role. But, you know, I decided to talk about that first only because that's probably i mean this movie just bored me it wasn't so much of the fact that the new guy who played pinhead wasn't good it was just boring i mean the only thing i could say that was probably good about it at the end we actually got to see a woman get chained up um and i think that's the first time in any of these hellraiser movies we've actually seen a woman get chained up anyways moving on hellraiser 3 a very good movie i heard a rumor this is out of print but you could still buy this, you know, you could buy Hellraiser 3 through 5 or 3 through 8 on a collector set. Um, yeah, this is Hellraiser 3. I love this movie. I love how Pinhead went unbound or Hellbound or whatever you call it. and He damn near messed up a whole freaking city. I actually did love this movie. I enjoyed it a lot. Next one, I believe this is Hellraiser 4, Hellraiser Bloodline. Which, it was one of those type of outer space type of movies. Usually outer space movies bore me, like Critters 4 or, you know, Leprechaun 4, you know. But this, and Jason X, you know, you name it. Um, but this movie I actually can say was an outer space movie I actually enjoyed. I absolutely did enjoy this one, believe it or not. I loved when Pinhead turned those two cops into Cenobites. I thought that was pretty badass. This one I already did show off in another video. I, I This one I actually bought with Hellraiser 1 and 2 when I was at FYE, the day I did my review. And this one is Hellraiser Hellworld. Like I said, probably the most boring Hellraiser movie with Doug Bradley in it, mainly because... Um, it's about, it's pretty much one of those teenage drama movies where they go into this haunted house because there's an evil game online called Hell World. And so they go to this haunted house and I can't remember who the guy's name was. He played in a lot of horror movies. He played in Pumpkinhead 1 who owned that mansion in this movie. I'm not going to spend all night trying to think of his name because I know I won't. I won't think of his name until after I do the video probably. But he does most of the killing, you know when these teenagers get trapped or kidnapped in these weird rooms I mean and but but see like I said what bored me about this it's like you know where's Pinhead at it's like you didn't actually see Pinhead in the Cenobites until the very end of the movie which I think pretty much bored me 
throughout the most part. You know, it's like, you know, me and my best friend actually watched this movie, and he said the same thing I said in the first place. Where's Pinhead at? And I'm like, well, we don't see Pinhead until later. But, I mean, I, like I said, I would only pick this over Revelations only because Doug Bradley was at least in it when we finally got to see Pinhead at the end of the movie. But, you know, that's my Hellraiser collection for now. I'm still waiting on Hellraiser Inferno, Hellraiser Debtor, and... Uh, okay, I know there's nine Hellraiser movies. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, I'm waiting on Hellraiser Inferno and Hellraiser Debtor. Those are the... Those are the only two Hellraiser movies I do not see in here. Um, they are on their way, but of course, you know, it's the day before Christmas, so with the holidays, it may not even come here until probably later this week, or probably maybe not even until after New Year's, but I'm sure it'll be here before then. But my next review, I will hopefully have my Hellraiser DVD collection completed. Like I said, if it wasn't for Chucky, I'm going to probably have to say Pinhead would be my favorite horror villain. Um, I know a lot of you are going to disagree with me, but I actually enjoyed the Hellraiser movies a lot more than the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Not only was Pinhead scarier than Freddy Krueger, but he was much more badder ass and he wasn't so damn clownish. I mean, I love Freddy, don't get me wrong. I've liked Freddy since I was a kid, and I actually didn't start watching the Hellraiser movies until I was like a late teenager. I'm going to have to say I do like Pinhead more than Freddy, just for my personal reasons. Anyways, that's just my review, and um, I just thought I'd show off what I got in the mail today, which was Bloodline, Hellraiser 3, um, Revelations I got the other day, and Hellworld. Alright, that's it.